Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here for the longest running racquetball tournament in the IRT, the Lewis Drug Pro Am, since 1978. I want to thank, of course, the tournament director, Mr. Mark Gibbs, one of the best tournament directors in racquetball. Of course, IRT partners, MyPillow and Gearbox Racquetball. Tournament sponsors, KWM Gutterman, Mr. Keith Miner, the Zurich Construction Team, Dubtail, and Pender Properties. Welcome, everybody. Our second match of the round of 16 coverage between the GOAT, Kane Wazelanchuk versus the current number one player on tour, Daniel De La Rosa. Crowd is filling up the stands here. A lot of people looking forward to this one. Good pass. De La Rosa. to put away Kane. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Good put away by DLR. Of course, after that match that we had before, <laughs> it's going to be tough to top that one. 11-10 tiebreaker. First point, DLR. Not a good return of serve from Wazalenchuk. Wazalanchuk on offense, totally not going for those stealing shots. Can retrieve that one. Del Rosa again to the serve. Down the line winner. On that left corner, Wazelenchuk trying to get on the board here. It's a skip by DLR, not the return of serve that he was expecting, which I did one. Good retrieval, Kane. Good read on that one, hustling in the front of the court. I don't think anybody is as good as Wazelinchik on reading those shots from his opponents. Court awareness, being at the right place at the right time. Short serve. Court winner. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in today. Fantastic Friday. Like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media.
Still some adjustments need to be made here. I don't think the pressure is on these two athletes as it was maybe a couple years ago when a lot of people were expecting this matchup. That unfortunate uh, Achilles injury for Kane just set the matchup a little back. But a lot of people are here because they've been anticipating it though. Wow, good read again, Wazalanchuk. Great read to the front. What a put away, 3-1. Down the line winner. Wow, good overhead shot by Kane though. Always an aggressor. And Daniel always wanted to be calm and smooth. That's a good serve. Two serving three. the back. Love that shot by Kane just to reset that rally. Mazalanchuk <laughs> can't get a racket on that one. That's a good serve by DLR, just to throw Kane off a little bit from his backhand. This is gonna be as much as a chess match as everyone's expecting. Both of them figuring each other out. They're at different stages in their career. The key here is experience and execution. Not speed, not strength. Rosa not expecting that one. He was going to the left. That's a great serve. Wazalanchuk well, on top again. Four serving three. It's an ace. Five serving three. De La Rosa not agreeing with that call. He's not happy about it. But that's what he's getting. Good pass down the line. Wasilenchik trying to catch some of his rhythm. Six serving three. Wasilenchik very softly and smoothly on the left corner. Kind of slices that ball a bit. The serve from Kane. A 
and again, backtracking. I love when he does that, running on the back and just kills that ball in the left corner. Trying to gain a comfortable lead, he's up by five. Ball check. Kane got a little bit ahead of himself, trying to kind of snap wrist on the backhand to the right. It's a skip. <laughs> wow, what a great shot. Shoulder height to put away. It's really, Wazlanchuk is not keeping a lot of room for DLR to execute as he was. Down the line winner, backhand. That's what De La Rosa needs to focus on. His backhand is one of his strong suits. Kane is doing everything he can to not shoot to his left. Serve from Kane. Short. I lob Nick to the right. Not a good shot selection there by Kane. He was very too calm and too smooth. Gave a lot of time for DLR to recover on that one. De La Rosa stopping that rally from Kane. Scores point number four. What a shot to the left corner. <laughs> Absolutely no breathing room whatsoever. This is a skip. De La Rosa is asking for the screen serve, but the referee is not giving it to him. There we go. Some words being exchanged right there with the referee. DLR not happy. Nine serving four. Again, that left corner is Kane's. So just to give you a quick update, in the round of 16s, Conrado Moscoso took out Karim Carrasco, 15-1, 15-5. Adam Mania went to tiebreaker with Thomas Carter. That was 11-9 tiebreaker. 
Mania advances versus Conrado Moscoso. That's later tonight in the quarterfinals at 5 p.m. Sam Murray defeated Eduardo Portillo in a tiebreaker, 11-2. So he will meet Eric Trujillo later at, five, at 6 p.m. in the quarterfinals. Down the line winner, very soft shot from DLR. So skip, Kane skips down the line. Good pickup by DLR. That front court hands and softness that DLR is known for. He doesn't have right now. So timeout taken by Kane Wazanchuk. Players will take a one minute break. We will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Lewis Drug Pro-Am, longest running racquetball tournament since 1978 here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Very warm here, 31 degrees. Good time out for Wazlanchuk to adjust. Bit of a tap right there to the front wall. He's leading 11-6. Comfortable lead. Good ball tracking again by Kane. Great anticipation. DLR missing that shot down the line. Good return of serve. Daniel finds magic with that backhand. Now going for that right corner. Seven serving 12. 
Good shot with the put away. De La Rosa looking for that ace. Not happy with referee's call. He thought he had it. Skip shot. There you have it, folks. Wazelenchuk takes this one, 15-8. Right now, it's... I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. The Lewis Drug Program here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Of course, want to thank our tours partners, MyPillow and Gearbox Racquetball. 
Tournament sponsors KWM Gutterman's Mr. Keith Minor Zurich Construction, Team Dovetail, and Pender Properties for their continued support. A lot of Team Dovetail players here on hand. Just to give you a quick update, on the courts next to us, we have Alan Natera versus Andres Acuña. Andre Parrilla versus Robbie Collins, and Jaime Martel versus Rodrigo Montoya. But for now, DLR is leading game two, 1-0. We have the greatest of all time versus the greatest now. Wazalanch, a very soft backhanded shot to the right corner. Is as smooth as it can be. Exactly how Matt Miller plays. What a fantastic shot to the left. Lonzo Dungeon very quickly scoring two points in a row. And Della Rosa has to figure out the Kane puzzle as he's down by one game. Down the line winner, Lonzo Lynchuk. question Kane might have with the referee. I have no idea what he's clarifying. He's up 3-1. Three serving one, we resume play. Down the line came with that backhand shoulder height. Del Rosa can't seem to put it away. Great cross court. And the put away. And the put away again in that right corner. Very smooth. Very Matt Miller like. Only different. Only different. Because this one's consistent. DLR with the serve. <laughs> Replay called. Incidental contact. You know, I can't blame the referee on that one. I mean, I'm not I wouldn't give an avoidable. I think it's, replay I think is the right call.
Second serve. Still at four serving one here in game two. Call is the ball is good. That's the call with the referee. I want to let everybody know that coming up at 2 p.m. This is a couple hours from now. We'll have men's pro doubles. We'll let you know soon enough which matches are going to be here on the show court. We'll have Javier Mar. Rodrigo Montoya versus Robbie Collins and Eric Trujillo, or we'll have Alvaro Beltran and Adam Mania versus Alex Landa and Daniel De La Rosa. We'll have to wait and see, and what was that? <laughs> that was just crazy. The surprise put away from Wazalinchuk. Good serve, but a better return. Wow. Good pickup. Another good pickup by DLR. Also, that taking his time. Not the shot the DLR was waiting for. Good pickup. Two wide angles in a row. Second time is a charm for DLR. Again, that wide angle is working perfect for DLR. He's still at one serving four, but he's attacking the backhand of Wazalenchuk more. And De La Rosa is being attacked in the forehand. Wow, very smooth shot. That was what's missing. Only a two point differential has very different rhythm than game one. Again, that ball tap on the front. So DLR has regained that confidence in the front court that he lost and he was lacking in game one. Wow, Wazlanchuk from the back, just backtracking. It's a no look shot. The 
short hop that one. That was an excellent choice of shot. Shot again, Kane just figuring things out. Two points in a row for him. Not the retrieval that was Lynchick was suspecting. But he's taking his time as well, putting his racket up. DLR with the serve. Down the line winner. A very strategic performance from both of them. Not the excitement that we have in the previous match, but very smart racquetball. change of pace, the change of speed, change of rhythm. Wow, what a down the line winner for DLR. Behind the back shot in the right corner. Wow. Wazalanch is just giving us a real show right now. That was a good shot right there. So timeout requested by Kane Wazalanchuk. Players will take a one-minute break. We will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, your timeout taken by Wazalenchuk. Not a good timeout. DLR manages to sign out. serve
De La Rosa very softly to that left corner. We're in point number three. Ball tracking again. He's been doing that throughout that match. It's good anticipation. It's experience and execution. Well, Selenchuk to the serve. Good pass on the right side. Eight serving three. First, I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Fantastic Friday. Remember, in a couple of hours, we'll have men's pro doubles in the show court. And again, a pass to the right. That's what. Wazelenchik has been doing for most of this match. He's been attacking De La Rosa's forehand. Of course, I want to remind everybody to vote for Conrado Moscoso. Remember to scan that QR code on your screen as Athlete of the Year by the World Games. Make sure to cast your vote there in support. The only racquetball player that is a candidate and it's Conrado Moscoso. The serve. That's a missed opportunity there by Ken. He had a free shot down the line, but he skipped it. Three serving nine. De La Rosa has quite the mountain to climb. Down the line winner. Very simple and easy. Down the line missed as well by DLR. A good serve. Ace. What a shot. Double digits now for Wazlanchuk. And again to the right, wide angle. Very well executed. De La Rosa has to think of taking his timeout until it's too late. The serve from Wazlanchuk. That's to the left corner. Four serving 11. Kane was expecting to get at least a replay, but he's not. I have to agree on that one. And hand it to the referee. Timeout call by DLR. Players will take a one minute break. We will too. We'll be back shortly Let's here on IRT on, Live. Uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go.
Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful. In Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, once again here. Time in. So, Wazalenchuk took his time out, De La Rosa as well. So we're in it till the end here. Four serving 11. Wazalenchuk tried to surprise that shot in the right corner, faking a ceiling shot. Skipped it. It's a good timeout so far for De La Rosa. Two points in a row. Gonna change the rhythm and pace of this game. That left corner. Make that three points in a row. So referee told De La Rosa about his leg. It seems he's bleeding on the knee. Just wipe that off. Kane tried to sneak into the right, but De La Rosa went down the line. So one zig, one other zagged. So four points in a row for DLR since that timeout. It's a skip by DLR. He had an opportunity there. Short. Wow, what an excellent play by Waz Lencher going to the back wall. It seems like the no look shot. Down the line. Fantastic shot, DLR with that backhand shoulder height. The splat roll out. And serve is doing wonders. Down the line. Not, not a good serve. That ball was very far off the side wall. Very comfortable shot by Wazalenchuk. Got to hand it to DLR though. He was down by seven. Now he's down by three. Wazalenchik, though, is three points away from taking this one. Wazalenchik again using the corner. 13 serving nine. Two points away. Ball tracking again, Wazalenchuk. Great anticipation, and we have our first match point. For the match, Wazalenchuk. Short serve.
the front. De La Rosa, down the line winner, good shot. Kane tried to keep that one alive, but gave a freebie to DLR. Wow, what great anticipation. Right place at the right time. De La Rosa not happy about that one. He knew he had a chance. So teams and equipment timeout. Yeah, in the equipment timeout, he showed the referee that he had a ripped glove. So he's just changing the glove. So I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. We're going to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. DLR wiping his knee. A few drops of blood there. So Wazalanchik again with match point. Fourteen serving nine. Can Daniel put this one away and continue? Short serve. And that's the match, ladies and gentlemen. Skip by DLR. So Kane Wazalinchuk takes the match 15 8, 15 9, and advances to the quarterfinals. Tonight at 7 p.m., he will wait for the winner of. Alan Natera and Andres Acuna. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in as Kane Wazelanchuk celebrates his victory. We'll wait for you at 2 p.m. We will have men's pro doubles here on the show court for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto. Happy to be here from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Racquetball's longest running tournament, the Lewis Drug Program. And thanks to Mauricio Salada in the production booth. We will see you in a little bit on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable.